Okay, now we're going to be setting up our um, screen. It's already been um, registered. Okay, we've registered both of our designs um, on here. We've made sure that our designs and our palette is set up so that there is space between my screen and my palette. If I push, there is some space that's there. Okay, on both designs. Now. We need, we need to go ahead and put our ink on our screens, and we need to practice um, printing first because we don't want to print, start printing directly onto our t-shirts. We want to practice on something else. So, we have some practice paper that we can use to print on here, okay? Um, first off, we have to spray our palette with, um, with some tack, with some spray glue, okay? It's specifically made, it's not regular spray glue, it's specifically made for using with t-shirts, it withstands heat. So when you come here, you're gonna spray this, being careful not to spray your screens. This will make this tacky to keep your design from sticking to your um, screen. So now I just put this practice down. Remember, this is, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just laying this out of where this is going to go. Okay. I'm going to do my first color um, on here. Big thing, guys, make sure you have your gloves. Anytime you go to get the ink out of the cabinet or anything like that, because we do work in a high school, what ends up happening is a lot of times the ink gets around the outside. So if you get touch that, you're going to end up with it on your hands. Um, always get make sure that you have your gloves first. Once we have the ink, make sure you have a space that uh, will make it easier to clean up. You're putting down some newsprint or anything like that. So if you do happen to spill any ink, it's very easy just to peek it, take that piece of newsprint and throw it away. Okay. You'll need your palette knives and you'll need some mat chips as well. Um, with your ink, you'll open this up. And if it's been sitting for a while, you'll really have to mix this up. If not, you may, might even just have to mix it up a little bit. But this ink will settle. That's why you'll need your palette knife. Um, you'll need to take it from the bottom and really mix up your ink. Okay. Now, if that's mixed up really well, you can actually just take your palette knife and take this and roll it around so it doesn't get any place else. And then take that and put that just beneath your design. You don't want to put that in the far corner. You want to just put just enough that's down there. Remember, you can always add more ink if you need it. Okay? You don't have to put a ton on here. It only takes a little bit at a time. Once you're done with that, you can take the excess ink off of your palette knife. Try to clean up the edge as possible. And you can take a rag. Those are usually just um, old shirts that we've used for mess ups. Clean off your palette knife as much ink as possible. Makes it easier for cleanup. And then what I'd recommend doing is taking the edge of this and cleaning off the edge too. This helps with sealing this. Okay. Throw that away. Make sure that it's pretty clean. That you have hardly any ink on that edge. Because that will help with sealing this and making this ink last even longer. Once that's wiped off and clean, check the inside as well. You want to take off that excess ink on the inside too. Clean those off. And seal it. Okay. Normally I could just push this on and it should seal. Now, normally I would have a rubber mallet, but this being a high school, uh, my rubber mallet got um, misplaced and put someplace else, and I don't know where it is. So just to show you where this is, I'm going to use a regular hammer, okay? You would take the rubber mallet, not the regular hammer, and you would go around and make sure that that is
always seal. Okay? I put that away. Always want to make sure that your ink is sealed and put away while you're working so that way you won't get anything else into the ink and you won't mistakenly spill that or anything like that. So you'll want to do that for each color. I have my blue all set up and I'm going to use this squeegee with this. So I'm going to put my squeegee on here. Remember when I set my squeegee on here, it's not at a 90 degree angle, it's at a 45 degree angle, and it's just under here. So when I lift it up, it'll stay in place. Now I'm going to do my other color, which will be my pink. Same thing, open it up, take my palette knife, mix it up. Take that color and put it just underneath my design. And then I'll want to clean this up as well. tell that the last students didn't clean this off very well, which is fairly normal. Close that up, take my hammer, go around it. Um, now that I have ink, I'll notice I have all this ink that was left over just by putting that ink on there. So I'm going to change my gloves. So that way it won't get anything else dirty. Put my squeegee on here. Now I have my two colors all set. And I'm going to take my new clean gloves as well. Now I've already set aside my t-shirts that I'm going to use for this job as well. And I put them on a nice clean area and it's on a cart right over here. That makes it very easy for me to access and it makes it easy to keep them separate from all that ink so I won't accidentally get things on there either. All right, my new gloves are on. I'm going to go ahead and practice my design, see if that works. Now, if I'm using multiple colors, I'm going to want to uh, plug in and warm up my uh, flash heater because this ink that we're using for our t-shirts um, only dries with heat. It will not dry just leaving it out. So I want to make sure that I have my um, flash heater plugged in and ready to go as well. The first color I'm going to do Going to be light blue. There are small, there are two different ways that you get you guys could do this. When you're using your ink, you can try to do it all in one stroke, or you could coat it and then pull it through too. I'll try to show you those different ways of doing this. I'm taking my ink. I want to do this at about a 45 degree angle. I'm taking my hands and I'm holding this um, very evenly, not right in the middle, not on the sides or anything like that. I'm holding this at a 45 degree angle, and I'm just going to lightly drag over my ink, over the top of it, and now I'm going to push my ink through so I can come back and push down, 45 degree angle, pull back, and now I can grab my ink, bring it back to the, the front, tap it off, set my squeegee down, and you'll notice that I can tell that my ink went through because I can actually see that there's no ink here, all the ink went through. Um, onto my design on the bottom. And there's my first design. Now, in between, before I do my next color, and I'll show you a different way of doing this, we're going to put our flash heater over our design, and we're going to let that sit for a good 15 seconds just to um, dry that top part of our design so that way the, it won't stick onto our next color that's here. Once we've had that flash for about 10 or 15 seconds, we'll move that away. And be careful, guys. This is very hot. This is like an oven. This is about 300 degrees. 
Um, make sure that nothing else is underneath there. Make sure that your trash can isn't sitting under here and catching on fire, okay? Or anything else, or your t-shirts aren't under there. There should be nothing under here, okay? So now I'm gonna do my next color. I'll line this up. And I'll show you another way to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this across to kind of coat it, okay? And if I want to, now I can put my squeegee at a 45 degree angle, and I can push that through. Now my ink's back where I started. Make sure that that's at a 45 degree angle. Lift that up, and there's my design. Okay. When I'm done with this, I could take this off. If I want to keep this, I can, um, or I could just throw it away. I know that that's set up, and now I'm ready to do my t-shirts. So my t-shirts, always double check, guys, that your hands are clean. Sometimes this is a really good idea to have a separate person being the one to put the shirts on and off so they won't get hit themselves dirty. But if you're doing this by yourself, always check that your hands are clean before you grab your shirt. Okay. You want to make sure that this is still tacky when you guys put this on here. So you'll put your shirt on. Line that up here with your Shoulder lines right here, make sure that it's centered, okay? Your shirt shouldn't be off to one side or off to the other. It should be pulled even and centered. Spread out any wrinkles that you have because that spray tack will keep it down, okay? Now, once that's set, we can do our first color. And I like to pull, so I'm gonna do this with one, one even stroke and you could do that as well. There's my first color. Put my heater over that for about 10 or 15 seconds. Bring my next color on too. Now once that's been heated for about 10, 15 seconds, I'm gonna bring this down. Now, when you're starting to bring your screens down, the other thing you should be remembering is to hold it from the sides too. Now we'll do our second design. Pull that through, and there's our t-shirt. Once we're done, we're gonna remove this shirt. First, we're gonna bring our hands underneath this and re release it from there. Cross our hands over, take both shoulders, pull this off. The design should be facing us. Now we can walk over to our dryer. We can take our design since it's facing away from us. I can pull the sleeves in, put that on there and now it's gonna go through the dryer, okay? The dryer, guys, should be turned on. There's a red switch over here on the far side. Also, the uh, speed, which is here, should be set to 80. And once that shirt comes through, it'll be dry and ready to go. Next, we're gonna show you guys how to uh, clean up and put everything away when you're all done.